Warning, the following content may contain elements that are not suitable for some audiences. Your discretion is advised. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of GeoGuessr. We're doing a balance world today. It's map by Debre. Uh, and I think we're in either Thailand, Laos, or Cambodia. Let's see. Uh, that's the Laos flag as far as I can tell. I'm pretty confident at least. We do have a roof rack, which we don't see too often. Uh, and we do have Hanoi, which might be a region. God, I hope it's a fucking region. Uh, it might not be a region. It might not be. Uh, but we are doing just our normal, normal shit. Now, we were supposed to stream today. However, I do have some yard work, tree work going on in the backyard. Uh, they already took down one tree. It took them about two hours. They're currently on lunch right now, so I figured I'd try and get a video out before all you hear in the background are chainsaws and parts of trees falling to the ground and being loaded into trucks. Never a fun thing, uh, but it's it's a little quiet, at least for now. So we're going to do our best. Uh, we do have a pro league to do today. I don't think I'm going to be doing the May challenge. I think I'm going to drop out of that. Uh, I loaded up the map yesterday. Uh, to do it, I loaded it up at like 2.30 in the morning. Uh, that way there was like three, like an hour and a half, two hours, something like that left on the challenge and I saw Islands of the World number one and I immediately was like nope fuck this I don't have the patience to to sit here picking out islands where most of them don't have coverage I don't know what locations they were but I know there's a lot of islands in the world that don't have coverage and I was like I'm, I don't have the time or the patience to deal with this uh, so I did not play yesterday's challenge I did not do it I didn't want to spend two minutes and 30 seconds per location in a place where I just didn't know where I was. Uh, now here's the communist flag next to the last flag, so we know we're in last for sure. However, we haven't seen anything on these signs to tell us exactly where we are. Uh, but I, I think I'm dropping out of the May challenge, because I loaded it up again today uh, to see if maybe it was going to be a different map. And it ended up being Pinpoint and Niskesco? Or something like that, which looks like it's a company... And no thanks. I honestly, I looked into it a little bit more, I think. And I'm pretty sure the person who made the league also made all 31 maps. And all 31 maps have five locations. So they're not replayable maps. And I feel like he's only doing this league to get plays on his maps. Because he doesn't have any successful maps like Simi or Mapper or Debre or anybody else who's like a, a well-known map creator so i feel like he's just trying to get his name out there which you do you man you do you i'm just i'm not going to participate i don't feel like i belong to be honest uh now we didn't find any town names unless we just saw savannah ket uh but we end up being 205 miles off it looks like wolf trekker guest Paxe, uh and he ends up being probably 150 miles off maybe 100 but he does walk away with almost 400 extra points so we do have to make up for it. Uh, we do have the desert. This is Mongolia. We have the roof rack. Uh, we have Cyrillic. And we're in the middle of nowhere. So, Mongolia. Now, we do get a lot of locations by Ulaanbaatar. So we're going to guess nearby. But I don't see what appears to be a major city anywhere. This is a pretty, I'm going to say, small community. Compared to some of the places we have been before in Mongolia. Uh, but I don't understand the language, so our best bet is to find road numbers. And if I'm being completely honest, I don't know if we've ever found a road number in Mongolia. So, I guess we pray for luck, or B, we get really lucky? I know we're saying we're praying for luck, but like, really lucky. So we're leaving this town which it's probably really small on the map which means we going to zoom in really far I was hoping that sign was going to tell us where I don't know 30 kilometers from Ulaanbaatar so I mean we could try and find it I believe that is Z-A-P I don't know what this one is I think this is the stylized D the house so then A D A H T. Let's see. Unless it's a K. It looks like Spider's K. So K A P 
That weird R might be a P. Oh, God. All right, we're fucked. Yeah, it looks like P is R, and weird R is G. So K, A, G, P, A, D, A, H, T. Unless H is an H either. Oh, God, this is going to suck. Can we find something that kind of looks like that? I mean, granted, it's a pretty long name. So I'm looking mainly for the start of the... Uh, maybe it's a J. Is that it? That's pretty close, actually. Actually, that might be it. Jargalant? X-A-P-R-A. That's different than that, but that could be stylized. A-H-T. So there's only one letter that's off, and it's this letter. But I think we could actually be in here. If we return to start, we are at like a corner intersection. It looks like it's a it's a three-way. We are north. I don't even think there's a river nearby. It doesn't look like there's actually anything fucking here. Is there a river to our east that I just haven't noticed? No. So this probably isn't the right region. And that means we're off by one letter. Uh, we're off by one letter. Because here's Jargalant. And here is... No, it's the same thing. There's two Jargalants. Really? Are you fucking kidding me? There's two Jargalants. Both with a fucking con bank. There's a river near this one too that I didn't fucking see. Really? Really? We should have guessed near Ulaanbaatar, man. We should have guessed near Ulaanbaatar. What does Jargonland mean? If there's two of them, that's got to mean something important. Granted, it's like Springfield in the United States. So should I really be too surprised that there's multiple? Probably not. It just sucks when you, you find it. You, like, find it, and you're like, oh, my God, like, we did it. And then you end up being 632 miles off. Well, I think Wolf Truckers got this one. Uh, it feels like we are on the right-hand side, although finding another car is definitely going to be a little bit more helpful. I definitely feel like this is going to be the EU. Maybe Japan, although it doesn't feel like we're too low in coverage. There is some language there, although I don't know if we'll get a good enough image on it. There's, there's stuff there. I think I can make out the letter Y, which might be Spanish. Uh, with white divider lines and Spanish, or what I think is Spanish, Kalp Hashtagi and Kader Deguledir. That's not Spanish. Uh, I think that could be... Eh, maybe Turkish? I don't think it's hungry because we have water. Maybe Albania? It looks like we do have the EU plates. Well, that one truck doesn't have it. Can we... It doesn't look like it has it there either. But we have water to our south. I know it's not Greece. I know it's not Italy. Uh, mainly because of the license plates. Snop Belediesi. Is this going to be Romania? I feel like this is going to be Romania. I don't think it's Bulgaria because we have yet to see Cyrillic. Although, that probably shouldn't be what we aim for. We do have more language. Yeah, I'm pretty confident this is actually going to be Romania. The only other place it really could be might be Albania or Montenegro. I don't think it's Croatia. I think it's got to be Romania. Uh, the issue is, it feels... Eh, you know, it's probably a body of water. Uh, with that being to our west, could we be over here more? Uh, maybe. If not, we're down here more. Over by Constana. Uh, I feel like we have a good spot. A good guess. I hope we have a good guess, at least. Because we are just... We're not doing as great as we probably should be. Granted, that Mongolia location, that tripped me up. I hope you guys find that and be like, alright, it's not Matt's fault. You know? He found a town name that was the same thing. I even was like, wait, there's a river here? I didn't find it, so what was I supposed to do? I automatically assume I was at the wrong fucking location? No, it's spelt the same way, you know? All right, maybe the river dried up, or maybe Google's stupid. We all know Google's stupid as it is, so maybe they just fucked up. 
Nope, wrong place. Ormancy. I'm surprised we didn't find a town name coming into here. Uh, because we usually find that pretty much everywhere. However, it looks like we have to go this way. Into the city. The only place I think it might actually be is Turkey. Besides Romania. But it feels way too, like, cold. Uh, and it ends up being the coast of Turkey. The north coast of Turkey. We're by Sinop. Which... Don't you love how at the end... I was like, the only other place this could be is Turkey. But... It's a little too cold. Nope, it's, uh... Not too cold. It's Turkey. I don't know. I feel like we, we typically see more sunny coverage when we end up in Turkey. Uh, EU plates. Sun is to our north. That doesn't make sense. Uh... Could this... Eh, it's really flat and really open. I feel like this is a coastline. Uh... Which would make sense, I guess. I've never seen a road dividing line on the side like this. I feel like those are raised as, like, uh, rumble strips. Like, the EU version of a rumble strip. That is a bike lane. This is really open and really flat, and I'm just heavily confused. Uh, not Italian license plates, so it's not Italy. The sun is definitely, like on the northern half because if we go south yeah it's definitely in the northern half so the only place I could think of that has EU plates that would have the sun to the north would be one of those bullshit fucking islands I don't think it's Reunion because it's really fucking flat could it be the Canaries or the Azores maybe but there's no yellow on the license plate so it's not Portugal so it's gotta be the Canaries and are the Canaries the Canaries are fucking north so it can't be the Canaries can't even be these bullshits. Cabo Verdes. I am so fucking confused. Could it be... No, because it's an EU plate, so it can't be fucking Southeast Asia. EU plate, for fucking shore. Incredibly flat. Denmark? Belgium? But I've never seen road markings like this in Denmark or Belgium. Uh, god damn it. Alright, uh... We're probably... I think Norway? Toftland, Saburbak... Uh, could it be Denmark? We could try and find 419, which should be... In this general area. Here are the fives. Here's 463. 175 should be over here. So... Ah, uh, here's 176 and 441. This could be the play, because here's 170, here's 403, they are in the same region, that helps me out. Here's 417, 417, 425, I need 419 and 175, here's 176, where does it go? It doesn't really go anywhere, 171, 170, 170, god man, I really, I didn't see this being Denmark at first, but I could see it being Denmark now. Uh, it is very open, and I feel like we got to be away from a lot of things, a lot of important things. Uh, we're not finding the row numbers so easily. Uh, we don't have a lot of time left, so here's 175. I don't know where the 4, 4019 is going to be, but I think we have a good guess. Uh, and actually, not a bad one. So it ends up being this road right here, which I think I should have paid attention to, the fact that we had water in the north and the south. Uh, although I still don't know, oh, here's 419. So we should have we should have probably gone for that, but uh, we just guessed where the number was and and got pretty lucky. Uh, and then we got some nice overexposed. Although I don't think this is Gen 4. I think we're going to be in Sweden, especially with these dotted lines on the sides. And it's probably a town. Although it still could be the Netherlands. Uh, and we have weird license plates. They don't look like they're EU plates. I don't know why they would not be EU plates unless it's Norway, but Norway has a yellow divider line. Oh, God. Svetska. I'm pretty sure Svensk is Sweden. In Finnish? So we could be... No, it can't be Finland. Because they have the dotted. Finland has a solid line. 
God, there's the .se for Sweden. So it just goes to confirm it. I feel like we could be near a coast, which makes sense. It's a peninsula, kind of, jut out, and about half the country has a coastline. So it would make sense if we are near a coast, because that's half the fucking country. Uh, don't think we've seen a town name yet. We've seen a lot of street signs. But street signs are not what's going to help us. We need to find a town name that says, like, I don't know, Stockholm, Gothenburg, or Oribro. Something that's a little different that is actually big enough to stand out. Uh, like, these are not going to be big enough to stand out. Now, I do want to go back to point it out. Swedish flag. Pretty, pretty obvious. Uh, so we're leaving Alsterbro. Alsterbro. I don't know if we'll be able to find it. It did feel like it was kind of bigger town, but I feel like it's still going to be like a really small town. Uh, I think we have to go based on feel, and feels kind of central southern, although these trees are kind of thin, so north could still be a play. I just feel like there's too many trees, and they're, they're all kind of tall. Ah, oh, god damn it, man. I feel like it's not bad to go too far north. I'm, I'm getting past my, my fear of guessing too far north in, in the Nordic countries. Because we're always wrong and it always, be, it always ends up being a lot further north. I just feel like this time around, it doesn't feel too far north. Though it does feel very flat. What if we go over by Nopi Skoki? Maybe... No root numbers. All the towns we found were small. This is our first, like, red house thing that we found. Uh, and it ends up being a lot further south. So I guess I wanted to guess a lot further north because we've learned to guess further north. Uh, but it ends up being a lot further south on 125. Which I'm guessing you found 125 Wolf Trekker and you were able to go from there. But here's Gotland, guys. We'll be there soon. Ah, uh, 18,000 points. That's not terrible. Uh, Mongolia kind of screwed us. We could have done better in Turkey, uh, if we would have guessed Turkey. And we could have done better in Sweden. We could have done a lot better in a lot of places. Although, Denmark, not bad. Uh, let's see. First, wait, coming ninth? You guys are crazy today. Wolf Trucker coming in first place at 24-3. Quantum Gravity in second at 22-5. Uh, Scribbles in third at 22-2, almost 22-3. Beerlingo in fourth at 21-7. Martin in 5th at 21.5, Bo in 6th at 21.2, Carl's at 20,200, Taurus at 20,000, and then we came in 18.4, and Cedric Tiger in 10th at 16.9, pretty much 17,000. Going with Iceland instead of Denmark, interesting play. Uh, but we, we got, did anyone else find that spot in Mongolia? It looks like Taurus did as well. Taurus found it as well, so I'm not the only one. Carl's did not. Bo did not. Martin did not. And then all the people who have higher scores obviously guessed closer to Ulaanbaatar. So me and Taurus found the same town name. And it was the same wrong town. Uh, but let's now go into the pro leagues. We do have the stay-at-home league, which is the spiritual successor to Quarantine Madness. The time this video goes up is supposed to be when this leg ends. So hopefully uh, you guys don't use this video to cheat. Uh, I know, I don't think actually, I don't know if anyone has done that. Uh, but I'm trying my best to post the leagues after they've been completed. Same with streaming them. Although streaming them, I, I do give the warning. I do try to get people to leave. Uh, but people are still probably able to do it. So we might just focus on doing all leagues, having them publish when the league is supposed to end. That way, uh, we don't have to worry about people finding out where these locations were. Uh, but we're going to start this. I don't know what to expect, but if it's anything like the original Quarantine Madness, we should enjoy it. Hopefully. But if you guys have not done this league yet and it's still able to be played, please go do it now. I don't want anyone to, to get an unfair advantage. Let's start it off.
We have a minute and 20 seconds now. That's different from the minute, so we have an extra 20 seconds. I believe we're still allowed to move and zoom and pan. Uh, this is just another world map, which we've already done. The University of Tasmania, so we're somewhere down here. I'm guessing in Hobart. Tasmanians can do anything. Study abroad. Apply now. Okay, not study abroad. Uh, so we're in Tasmania, which I think is actually really cool. We don't end up in Tasmania very often, and when we do, it ends up being these... Uh, really rural areas so that says a3 tasmanian highway in Bellevue, and then centipov uh can we find a3 we can it does go through here here's Bellevue, uh which i guess puts us over here maybe what is the road this is a traffic circle over by abc on brooker avenue is there a traffic circle down here on brooker avenue Clarence, Cambridge, is this Brooker? Cambridge and Rosie. We might not actually be over there. We might be over here in Hobart still. But uh, Liverpool, Brooker Highway. I think we're right here. I think we're right here. Uh, and we get the perfect score. End up being 9 yards, 8 meters off. Uh, Topodic is current leader, and we have a 12-point lead, so if we can continue to do stuff like that, uh, we might actually do really good in this league. We might do, like, amazing, actually. Uh, but that was actually a really easy location, uh, and we just we got really lucky from finding a street sign and then checking, like, another traffic circle and getting it correct. Not bad. Not fucking bad. Uh, okay. Uh, we're fucked. Festival Cross Border Atumba, Indonesia Travel. You all know how great I am at Indonesia. East Java. Can I find anything that says where we are? Timor something, please? No? Ah, oh, god damn it. Ah, uh, I don't know where Para Sutan. Persa Tuan? Is that an actual town name? I feel like it's gonna be big. I feel like this is gonna be an easy one if we could find it. Uh, unless Persa Tuan is not as big as I'm hoping it is, or it doesn't actually mean a town name because it says Indonesia under it. So Persa Tuan could be like Welcome To, uh, which would put us near a border, maybe even the region over here, the Malaysian area. Now these are a lot darker. Is that everywhere now was there an update that made these these regions more visible or am i noticing something that everyone's noticed and now it's just clicking no these are definitely darker uh we didn't find it we're still sticking with east java uh and it ends up being over by timor leste which makes sense so it doesn't end up being the town name as we can tell because this is atumba atamba tambua uh so that's why Topodic is currently winning, but it ends up being a lot further east than we wanted to guess. Fuck. God damn it. Uh, we do have a crown. We do have yellow on the side, so this is probably Portugal. Can we find out what this statue is? R... ID? R Pi D? It's a king of something. King of something. I think this is definitely Portugal because we have the yellow on the license plate. Uh, I don't want to be kind of here, so I want to go this way. Well, we do have a church. What a surprise. We do have the blue on the license plate with the yellow. We know it's got to be Portugal. Do we go Lisbon? Do we go Porto? Do we go a different place? Uh, I'm not too sure. That says Rua, though. And that's French, isn't it? Uh, we're fucked. We're fucked. Because it could be somebody visiting France. Or it could be... Eh, it's not Brazil. We have the EU plates. Can we move, please? God damn it. Uh, Porto do Sar. So... We'll go Porto, I guess. I guess Porto uses Rua. Rue too. Was it Rua or Rue? I think it was Rue. God, man. We're able to get into the town as time fucking expires. That sucks. Uh, and it ends up being Visu. 
And that's the Cathedral de Visu. So I guess if you... Maybe we could have looked at the name, but I don't think I would have took that as a name. I think I would have taken that as, like, a, a saint or something. I'm not very good with, uh, with names of anything. Okay. Uh, Northern Ireland... UK. I don't think... And by Northern Ireland, I don't mean the, the region itself. Actually, that's the flag of Portugal again. Um, waters to our west. Could this be the fucking... Could this be a group of islands? The Azores? It feels unlike most of Portugal. Which I think is the only reason I want to guess the Azores. And how often do I want to guess the fucking Azores? I could assure you, not very often. But this doesn't feel like mainland Portugal. I feel like there's a lack of trees... Granted, there's, there's some around us. It just it doesn't feel like my, your typical Portugal. Do we make a play here? I think we do. I think we fucking do. I don't know why we want to guess the island we're guessing. We do have water to our south. There is another island to our west. So uh, water to our south, island to our west. Although that does kind of feel further away. But how far? I feel like it's got to be this, this region. I feel like it's got to be. If this is not the Azores, which that's the flag of the United States. I'm so confused. Uh, it does end up being the Azores. It just ends up being the wrong island in the Azores. Uh, but there's a United States flag here. So somebody else from the United States knows that this place exists. See, but that's why... That's another reason why you can't trust flags. Imagine somebody finds that one flag. They find all those Portuguese flags, and then they find that one United States flag. And they're like, well, why would there be a USA flag anywhere but the United States? Granted, why would there be 16 Portuguese flags anywhere but Portugal? Uh, we're in Spanish-speaking area. That is the shape of a country. Is that... That's not the shape of Spain. Is that the shape of Ecuador? No. It's Colombia. All right, so... Because here's the top part, and here's a little weird tail, and the weird jutouts, and... It's Colombia. We're somewhere in Colombia. Yellow license plates. We should have just... Here's the taxi. Ah, uh, taxi, taxi. Show me where you are. Give me a good reason to read your fucking license plate. I can't rhyme. Clearly. I would make a terrible freestyle rapper. Here's a taxi. Please, I just need, like, one good fucking look at the side of you. Any of you, please? Really? Can I not catch up to this fucking taxi? Google car street driver. Dude, you gotta drive a little bit faster, bro. Uh, that says... Something with an M. Medellin, maybe? Uh, granted, we haven't found a good view of any of these taxis. We can't seem to get a view of any of these taxis. Dude, we're struggling. We're just struggling to move at this point. Uh, at least we know it's Columbia. That That's definitely a good part. So, not terrible, but not able to get anything off of those locations. Uh, it ends up being right on the fucking border of Venezuela, which Tapata getting a perfect score on. I don't think we would have ever guessed as far over here as this was. It ends up being a town called Union, uh, which I've never heard of before. Uh, but we're walking away with pretty much 20,000, with Indonesia really being our worst one. That's not bad. Not bad for a double. Uh, and current leader is Topotic, followed by Granis, which makes sense. Wolf Trekker's in 8th, Radu C's in 6th. I'm in 17th, Simi's in 14th. I think we have a play. Roland's in 26th, Bentley's in 32nd, Fighting's in 36th, Taurus in 37th. Oh, man. Tin's in 53rd, Scribble's in 55th. I'm trying to keep up with all you guys. I'm trying. Uh, and only 85 people have played. So, not bad. Not bad for round one. Uh, but again, I think we're done with the May League. We do have other pro leagues going on. So if you guys do want any of those links, feel free to ask me. I'll be happy to post them in either the Discord, on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. doesn't really matter. Uh, if you ask for them, I will be more than happy to oblige. I don't think I'm going to be playing May League. I know I've said that like five times this episode. But like I need to like convince myself that it's not worth it. And I really don't think it is. But that is going to be where we call it for the day. So thank you all so much for being here. I'm glad that the guys are still on their lunch break so you didn't have to hear any chainsawing. 
as we complete this 30 minute episode but until next time guys enjoy the rest of your day and bye bye